Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my screen. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but today look at this. Lakeland Station goes live on Sunday 11 June. Yes, we are getting closer and closer to the date now. We're just over a fortnight away. It is the 26th today and when I'm recording this, so very soon. And all the changes and bus route changes have been released on the website now. A few days ago including the timetables and actually no it was just yesterday yesterday yeah all the timetables were released but the maps were released ages ago which I did put up on a community post so today we're gonna do a quick 15 or 20 minute video and we're going to go over all the changes and see um, just everything that's happening and I'll tell you my thoughts about it and then I'll go and film it in real life in a f few days time but yeah, let's just take a look through here and read through this. So obviously on Sunday 11 June, Lakeland Station will be opening. Very exciting. Just like, you know, what was it? Seven, eight, eight months ago, airport line opened and now another opening. Or was it nine? Sorry, I'm being stupid at maths. Eight. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, airport line opened. So now again just like with the airport line bus routes will be starting the next day which is unfortunately a school day but it's gonna be just after my exams which i'm in the middle of doing right now so maybe there won't be much to do and i might be able to go film a bit but let's just take a look here now so located between warmbro and mandra on lake valley drive passengers will be able to travel to perth underground in approximately 15 minutes which is actually true because I always thought that was pretty stupid what they're saying because it used to be like 49 minutes for the whole line but I don't know what happened now if you go on the new timetable which by the way just looks so nice um, if you go on the new timetable it actually does take 50 minutes like just look at this random service 1038 a.m. gets to Lakelands 1127 49 minutes to get to Lakelands and then it gets to Mandra 1132 which is five minutes later so then the whole line will have taken 54 minutes, which that's quite considerable. That's, yeah. I mean, a station on a 130 km an hour section makes a much bigger difference than it does on, say, a 50 km an hour or 80 km an hour section for slowing down. So yeah, this is the new timetable with Lakelands on it. Very good. It is a shame though that we're losing our longest section on the network, but still, it's still going to be the longest section between Warmbrow and Lakelands. It's still like an entire zone in between them. It still would be if Carnop was open now, actually. But, yeah, so we'll just look here now. So all the new bus routes will be coming in, which I did talk about before when they first released the proposals. I'll link that video in the corner. I think that was the last type of this video that I did. And then here, first trains are 12.12 to Mandra, and then just two minutes later the Perthbound service comes in. So this is exactly how they opened Aubin Grove. The first train was also around midday. That was six years ago now though, but I did go there. So all trains run express through the station until that time, which is very good. I mean, very cool that you get to film some express trains, which you'll then never see again past that time for in-service trains um, and that means since the old buses will still be operating to get to Lakelands I'm gonna have to use the 587 for the last time to get up there early at like 8 or 9 a.m. and then I can film for three hours before even people come in with the train so yeah Mi Mandra Airport and Midland Lines going a little bit of a timetable change it's literally just like one minute time changes for Airport and Midland Line doesn't really need much explaining and then all these routes are getting just normal time changes no frequency increases or anything just also minute or two changes I don't know why they listed 277 278 twice though but all this not much changing really even 301 though <laughs> pretty weird and 37 and the busy 955 but yeah now this is what I really want to get into. So with all of this, there is a lot of little things changing, such as Route 67 deviations are going to be actually with, withdrawn. Um, wait, no, no, not 67, sorry, 68. 
this one, 68 deviations to Pitt Street. That is an extremely stupid deviation, and I can show you right now, just so you understand this. I'll be really fast with it, but I just want you to see. I've actually filmed this deviation as part of my transport oddities, but I never posted it. So I hope to post it soon. Here it is. What is this? Seriously, the bus turns in for like 100 meters to stop here and do a U-turn near the shopping center when there's already bus stops right here. It makes no sense. So they're actually going to be removing a lot of those. But I'll show you the actual video I made of that. Maybe I'll upload it at some point. Um, then a few more 96 extension services and just some time changes and withdrawals for this. Then route 273. Finally, they're going to remove a lot of the trips because the stupid Kalamanda loop really doesn't make sense. Now, 292, look at this. They finally realized that the stupid stop here on, like, because the bus used to go here, down here, here, and then back up here to Redcliffe. I don't know what the point of that was, just to come nearby these, like, factory outlets here. I guess if you're trying to get to, like, these shopping areas, but no one really does that. So this stop that was here was never really used. And so now they're going to shorten it, making it an even shorter route, but also making it quicker, obviously, for airport passengers. And they're also transferring the route now away from Swan back to Path Transit. But then the next thing, oh my god, new route 294. This one is absolutely crazy. We never even expected new routes in the airport area with these changes, but look at this. Here it is. It's so dumb. I hate this route. Like, I don't understand. What is the point? It is exactly the same as the 293, and then just this tiny extra section here with the terminus at Food Bank WA on a trial. I don't know. Is Food Bank such a busy industry place or what that they need this? Like, honestly, they could have made this High Wycombe to Airport Central as a bus connection. That would be cool. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm just saying. And I think this over here, this is a map error. The 293 doesn't do this loop here anymore. That was withdrawn with the airport line opening, and I actually made a changes video about it not serving that anymore. I think that's an error. It's not actually going to go there. So, if you look at the 294 timetable, which I'll just search up here. And we're going to take a look. Mm. Oops, sorry, I have to go way forward. What? Oh, come on, it's not even here. Well, that's silly. I'll have to press all bus times and then just scroll to the 292. There we go. So here's the actual timetable. You can see it's so bad. Three services a day. And it's basically operating like a circular. So it departs at 10.07, gets to food bank 10.14, then departs 10.15 and gets back 10.22. Literally a 15 minute circular loop, just three times a day. I don't know how used that's going to be. We're going to go check it out and see it's very soon upon its starting operation. But yeah, I don't know what that is. Now, the rest of it... Yeah, there's a few less trips to Magahoni Creek, which I visited when I went to Wendawi. And yeah, that's it for there. Now, this is the actual main bit. So, Route 558, I've already talked about this before, but this is the major massive route which goes from uh, Rockingham to Mandur at the moment via Warmbrough Station and all the suburbs in between. So, if you look here, you can see it on the map absolutely massive route it takes like over an hour it's like almost as long as the Joondalup line <laughs> okay a little bit less but still uh, not not Joondalup line it's like 25 well it's 25 kilometers along the rail but along the bus route it's more so yeah I guess it's like almost all the way to Joondalup with bus with the bus and it turns into Warmbro but now this route is being split up into three different routes which you can see on the new timetable, 574 being one of them, heading down just between Warmbro and Lakeland Station. And then 561, also a replacement route for the current 561. Yeah, which is just not going to go to Rockingham anymore. And 559 will be withdrawn. So, But it's actually, the current 562 is going to be renamed to 559, so 
it'll still exist just because 559 at the moment is the same as 558 just that here it turns left instead to serve the terminus there it's pretty silly and the timetable for the 559 hang on let me just show you this look at this there's like the last 559 over here 322 p.m. and then there's no 559 oh no sorry here 554 p.m. and then there's no 559 for the entire evening but then the last service of the day at 24 past midnight is a 559 that's like the biggest gap in a bus timetable I've ever seen it's so weird um, so yeah now let's take a look at 562 um, up please yep here so this again the current map I mean that's the future map the current map just has where did it go oh I accidentally closed it yeah so this is the current map 557 along the shore 562 in there and then the 588 559 and 561 all go down the middle but it's not on this map and on the new one you can see the three routes doing that to go through which this is quite weird like these routes are so short less than 10 or like 10 to 15 minutes each in peak and there's three different routes just for this tiny section of a su of like the southern suburbs just for this tiny section it's so crazy that there's three it could definitely be like consolidated into two like here here like like that like the 558 down the middle the frequency is like every 15 minutes which seems so redundant for this main road route with the only unique section being here I don't I don't think these are gonna be that busy at all it's gonna be pretty strange anyway moving on it's been like 12 minutes and yeah um so the new 574 yep then the new 577 guys this this route I don't even know which time, this timetable. This route is the stupid one we were talking about last time. Here it is. It's actually coming into operation. I walked the entire length of this route during when I went to look at the construction of Lakeland Station. I'll link the video as well. Literally just like three stops out and back. And if you look at the timetable, you can see. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Starts even at 5 a.m. It's only six minutes, three minutes out, three minutes back. That's what a short route it is. It's like the new 301, but just for lake lens. And yeah, that's what it looks like. Then it's hourly in the middle of the day. Like, come on, transfer. <laughs> this is so stupid. I already raged about this last time in the proposals bus routes video. Yep, and then for the rest of these services, um, this is the southern the most southern section of 558 being replaced by 585 another main road route basically the 584 which currently terminates here in Medora Bay will no longer go there and go to Lakeland Station instead and then the 587 is just going to become the 586 and travel to Lakeland instead of terminating at the shopping center up here with the current 586 only operating between the TAFE and the station here no longer doing those short services Although, if you do look at the 586 timetable, what is this? <laughs> look how many services there it is in peak hour. 724, 732, 36, 37, 42, 44, 46, 49, 55, 56. What? There's like one minute apart. Okay, actually, no, that's a school holidays only one there. But lots of these, everyone that doesn't say H operates on a normal day. So 32, 37, 42, 44, all of these, 49, 55, 58, there's like a service every five minutes. Five minutes. And all of them do deviations to schools and stuff, which means it takes up like half of the weekday timetable just for the between 7 and 8 a.m. schedule here. And then throughout the day, there's still constant deviations. D, E, D, E. So D is the current 587 deviation to Meadow Spring Shopping Center which I can just show you here in the map, follow my cursor. Um, it goes here and then it travels up here. Actually, I made a whole video on this deviation and I already posted it, so I'll just link you to it and you can see it. 
So the, it'll alternate between that and the new E deviation, which will also run almost every service on the weekend with no more D on the weekend, which is so strange. You can't go to Meta Spring Shopping Center on the weekend anymore with the 586 or 587 that it currently is. But that's probably because the 585 and 584 are having their frequencies increased and they go right there anyway, so there's no point. But the deviations will still be in place on weekdays. But the new main deviation is the E, which, let me show you, it's a very, very strange thing. Um, so you know how like Lakeland Station is quite, I mean quite, like a kilometer away from Lakeland Shopping Center. There was a bit of criticism about that, but then Transport's like, oh yeah, don't worry, we're going to have three of the bus routes going there. But they still didn't like it, so they said, okay, we're going to have all of the bus routes going there, except the 577, which is the stupid route, which can be discounted anyway. So now, to make the 586 go there, on weekdays, every second service, and on weekends, almost every single service, is going to be doing... Let me just get it up... Um, this. Look at this. What? Oh my god. It's gonna leave the station, go straight down the road, do a U-turn, stop outside the shopping center, and then go back and continue along its route. Unbelievable. I'm just glad they removed the Meadow Springs deviation as well, so it's not an even slower route, because it already has so many dumb bits. On this bit here, when it has to do this loop around the TAFE, and then, oh, luckily that's not a deviating one, but almost all the other ones are, you see? Just to serve that, so Lakeland Shopping Center, all routes from Lakeland Station will go to the Lakeland Shopping Center for a majority of the time, except the 577, which, very stupid. Yep, oh, I've been blabbering on, haven't I? So that's that, we've covered all that. 587 is basically just withdrawn, replaced by 586, which, yeah, just the current 587 becomes 586. And the rest is not really much to say, there's just a lot more time changes around Mandra, and some trips withdrawn in the evenings due to poor patronage. Um, that's about it, even 604, 605, just being minorly changed by a few minutes for that and then one more final thing the stand said mandra will no longer be called a1 a2 a3 and then b1 b2 b3 which is very sad it was the only station to have lettered stands making it feel more like a bus like a major bus station even though it's just a train station's bus transfer but now they're just doing it normally stands one to nine unfortunately so that'll be the end of lettered stands at a train station and obviously there's stand changes at all the other stations as well Warmbro and Rockingham because of the new routes and Lakelands which one more thing now here is the Lakelands map for the station you can see eight stands you can see them on the side here each one has its own route one route per stand except two which also has a train replacement but then the train replacement in the other direction has its own stand and there's two free stands as well this one only having school specials Oh yeah, I wonder what the school specials will be around there. But yeah, that's it. And it's just two roundabouts again. Down here it doesn't even connect outwards. So Lakelands is quite similar in design to quite a few stations. I'd say it's similar to High Wycombe and it's similar to Quinnan and Wellard. And it's also similar... Um, wait, what, what, what other one? Butler, yeah. So all those four stations it's somewhat similar to in some way. And remember Lakelands has four lifts as well, which is crazy because two per platform is now the norm. But it doesn't have escalators. Like what? That's so silly. They'll install them in the future, but for the moment it's just stairs and escalators. It doesn't even have smart rider barriers. Lakelands is a closed I mean an open station. So weird. But they'll install them later in the future once patronage is up. But yeah, it's just amazing to see it open. Make sure you check out the videos I linked earlier to see the construction of it. It is opening in two weeks' time. I will be going down there to be filming the bus routes, the old changes before it's removed, such as Madora Bay Terminus for 584, 586 very short trips at the moment, 
anything like that and then I'll be back on the opening day of course and I'll go there before the first train even comes to film the express trains coming through and then the first trains coming in which some of my other subscribers will be on and will record and then I can put it in the same video so you can see what it was like on the train with the Lakelands announcements for the first time and then I'll probably come back the next day if not a few days after to record the new bus routes uh, yep that's everything now oh, 20 minutes perfect that's probably enough um, so yes this is the new timetable two weeks time guys it's coming very exciting so exciting right after my exams perfect timing yep and now this weekend actually we have Midland Airport free um, Armadale Thorny line closures as well as Airport and Fremantle lines departing from Perth Underground but basically like the heritage line shut down I already filmed like last year so uh, yeah anyway that's not what this video is about oh final thing to say before the video ends free travel free travel is going to be happening on the 4th of June which is the first Sunday of the month with the new scheme that they introduced the 5th of June which is because it's a public holiday for the WA Day Festival they want two free days to encourage people to use transport so that's two and then on Lakeland's opening day it's also free so that's three three free days in the first two weeks of June wow free travel I think on Lakeland's day it's completely free for everyone you don't even need your smart rider like it was during the airport line opening but on the other two you actually need your smart rider for it to be free yeah and that is it now thank you for watching the video that is all the new bus routes that I've talked about now I've shown you the timetables and the maps Justin also made a very similar video to this saying all the same stuff but on a PowerPoint instead before the times are released you can also check this one, that one out this one just went into a bit more detail about the actual operations on opening day and the timetable as well so yeah Thank you everyone and I'll see you soon for the bus route changes videos. And yeah, we can zoom into lovely Lakelands on the map as well. Over here, oops, right here. Amazing. Bye.